So for bike of the year 2016's 1500 to 2000 pound category, our winner is this BMC SLR02. So the SLR02 frame set is based on exactly the same design as the SLR01. In fact, it uses the same moulds. The way that they came about with the frame looking how it does is using their ACE technology, which is accelerated composites engineering. That means they went through 34,000 iterations of the frame before coming up with this particular shape. So all of that advanced design work has, has led to what does look to be a fairly radical bike in the market. It's got lots of design cues that we've seen emulated by other brands. BMC were one of the first to drop the seat stays down just to give that a little bit more unsupported seat tube and seat post to offer that little bit more give, a little bit more compliance. Bring a little bit more comfort into what is essentially a stiff race bike. And just by first glance you can see that this is a bike that really means business. You've got a super oversized down tube, great big bottom bracket shell, huge great big girder like chain stays. Everything about it screams stiffness. And it's those features that really translate when you're out on the road. Some bikes feel responsive, this one feels practically telepathic. The minute you just stamp on these pedals, it's just pulsing ahead and wanting to go. And really, really, really responsive. If you like the feel of a pro level super fast bike, but you, know, you don't want to be spending five figures, then this is a hell of a bike to place your money in. The other thing we like about the SLR02 is the no-nonsense, simple approach to the way they've spec'd it. We've got a one of five groups that are here, but it's everything. You know, they haven't dropped in any emissions, they haven't substituted a cheaper brake, they haven't substituted a cheaper chain set. It's just throughout, and it all works as, just as well and as flawlessly as you would. And they've also realised that who this bike's intended for. This bike is intended for those guys that like to go out and do your big endurance rides, do your Grand Fondos, do your Sportives. You know, somewhere you're going to get lots of miles, lots of climbing. So they've given us a really, really sensible gear ratio on this. It's got a 50-34 compact on the front and a super wide 11-30 on the back. And that should be able to get you up pretty much any ascent, no matter how tired you are. So I've already talked about just how fast and, and how rapid this bike responds um, and, and just generally how speedy it is everywhere. But it's got a really good other string to its bow and that's the comfort that you get from this frame. It feels super plush, it's nice and smooth, it's nice, everything's nicely damped. You don't get any of that telltale tingling in your fingers when you're riding over rough surfaces. It does it all remarkably well. And that's even with it running 23 tyres, which might seem a little bit out of date nowadays. And we'd certainly think this bike would benefit from moving to 25s, but that's a small nickel in what is a truly excellent road machine. So the SLR design has been around for a few years now and it's still just as impressive as it was the day it launched. Rumour has it, BMC have got some new things coming in this year and uh, we've got our fingers crossed that it's going to be a new version of the SLR and if they bring a disc one to market as well, we just can't wait for that. So usually, you know, being a, a Swiss company, Swiss design and everything, you norm we're normally from BMC, we see really understated, clean, smooth looking designs. So it's quite a shock to the system when they send us one in that's electric blue and it definitely is a love or hate thing. <laughs>